God bless you, my brothers and sisters. This your brother in Christ, Euclid Gray. I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for stopping by. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am here to touch and agree with someone that want to be used by God, that want the fulfillment of the Holy Spirit, that want to be a vessel for the kingdom of light, want to turn away from the wicked ways and want to walk up right before the Lord. If that's you, touch and agree with me because I touch and agree with you that the Holy Spirit fill you with the almighty power of God through Christ Jesus to carry out the mandate and the assignment to glorify God by loving his people like never before. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for watching. It's a beautiful thing as we reflect on the loving fulfillment of God. What we can learn from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he didn't do anything without getting the instruction from his Father, our Father in heaven, God Almighty. He said, I don't do nothing or say anything unless he give it to him to say. That's a beautiful thing. So he, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is literally the voice of God because he only spoke what he heard God tell him to speak. In the Bible document that, it's interesting. The beautiful thing we can learn too from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ He said, I didn't come to do away with the law. I've come to fulfill the law, the fulfillment of God's love. Wow. See, in the Old Testament, Jesus was right there inside of God, you know, manifesting the glory and the power of the almighty God because Jesus and God is one. But he hadn't came in bodily form yet to exercise and demonstrate how to operate and show us in the flesh ram how to be kingdom minded by obeying the king of kings and the lord of lords he came to show an example how we are to do it faithfully all the way obedient all the way he came to show us we're in the world, but not of the world, because we are of the kingdom of God. We are the children of light because we receive Christ. Hallelujah. He said, I didn't come to do away with the, 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 the laws of the prophets. And I come to fulfill them. So when he came on the scene, it was very surprising that the people that taught the word did not recognize him as being the word. He come to fulfill and he had to let them know if you serve the father whom I serve, you would know who I am. See, Moses, when he was called by God, the voice of God, Jesus, pretty much, and God spoke to him through the burn, burning bush and gave him the assignment. Moses asked, who should I say sent me to do this big task? He said, say, I am. 
God refers himself as I am the great I am. So the people that taught the word and knew the word, the teachers, the Pharisees, and things of that name, Sadducees, and all these people, they didn't understand the word being fulfilled in bodily form because they was used to just reciting the word, teaching the word. But God said, that's not enough because even though the children of Israel went through the Red Sea, they went on the other side and unfortunately they forgot the word of God. They saw the power manifest by the miracle signs and wonders for them. But on the side, they're like, well, what do we do with this now? And God clearly told Moses to tell Pharaoh, let my people go, set them free that they may worship me. But instead they worship idols. And that angered God. And it angered Moses. Moses couldn't make it in. The children that disobeyed and made idol gods, they didn't make it in. They, they, the, the next generation. So Jesus said, you know, I've come to fulfill. I don't want you just to know it, but I want you to be full and filled with the endowment and the power to manifest a relationship that coincides with the will of God concerning our life, not the will of man. Because the will of man is doing things in his own way for his own glory. But the will of God is submitting to the way of God, doing his way for the glory of God. So Jesus said, I'm going to come to show an example how to do this. So these Pharisees and teachers didn't understand the manifestation of the power that was being seen with sign miracles and wonders because they hadn't seen things like that. But he was just coming to teach them, saying this is what you are to do and share it with the next generation and the next generation. I'm going to tell you who I am. I am the way. This is the way you do it. I'm coming here to show you the way you operate, not just by teaching it, but being a doer of it. So you can see your true identity because the Bible document when we do the word, it's like we're looking in the mirror and we're not forgetting of what we've seen. We're not, we're not, um, we're not, we're not forgetting the the way. We're not forgetting the way we've. Uh, we're not forgetting the words. We're not forgetting the words. We're not forgetting the way of Christ because. Not, we're not just reading it, but the word is becoming a part of our character and our conduct. And that's what Jesus said. He said, I want not just to demonstrate the word. I want to exercise the word and show you that this is how we are to operate in the way of Christ. This is the way we are to operate in the way of Christ. So Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The beautiful thing about God, he loved us so much, he sent his way so we can duplicate his way, so we can fulfill the law and carry out the mandate of the law, of God's teaching, so God can see the reflection of his law manifesting in the tablets of our heart by how we treat one another. The fulfillment is a beautiful thing. You know, I think about this story about Elijah, which is a prophet, a man of God that was really pleasing before the Lord. He was a mortal man, but he prayed and he prayed that the, the um, it, it do not rain. And God honored his prayer and it didn't rain. He prayed that fire come down from heaven to show the glory and the power of the majestic God. And God obeyed this mortal man. God wants us to have a relationship with him somewhat like that. And the beautiful thing about that, as he um, began to do so many great things, he um, did great exploits and, and did um, great uh, accomplishments for the glory of God concerning 
him being a man. But when a woman came to him with a threat, you know, he, he ran, he ran under this tree and he hid and he asked, take, you know, ask God to take his life. And a lot of people may say, why was he afraid of the woman? We don't know if he was afraid of the woman or he just felt like he was such of a man. He didn't want to put his hand on a woman. He said, I don't want to hurt a woman. You know, you know, I've, I've seen God fight for me on the behalf of men, but I never, I, I never had experienced, um, a woman, you know, I, I always experienced respecting a woman, you know, um, um, giving, um, honor to women things, you know, you know, it's the, um, uh, um, a guy by the name of Rock. I saw this little um, this little clip, and uh, Rock is this um, wrestler guy slash actor, and um, he was wrestling a lot of men. But when it came to a woman, it was like a woman slapped him, he, and he 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 never slapped the woman back because he was like, "I'm a man. I, I can't put my hand on a woman." He just he just he felt like that was beneath him is his his manhood so you know and you never know i say that to say you never know he probably felt that way he probably wasn't afraid of her and that's the that 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 way like her threats or anything like that he probably just said you know what? i don't want to disrespect manhood so guess what he did he hid god said go eat why you here? Go anoint Elisha that he may do your job. We can't let a woman stop us from doing the will of God from fear, thinking that I'm not a man enough 